what I want to do is I want to demonstrate a little bit um, about suppository chelation products. Now there's a number of different forms. This, this product right ha uh, have here is a product called detoxamine, which is very common. And it's actually a suppository of EDTA. And EDTA is one of the things we use, not only with adults, but with kids. Uh, and it's very effective for metal detoxification, particularly things like lead and aluminum. This is the size that actually an adult would use for suppository. For kids, we actually cut it in half. And it's very simple. This, uh, it's made out of cocoa butter, so it's very easy to cut in half. And that actually is the size that you would use for a child. How do you insert a suppository? Well, it's actually quite simple. I, I have some parents that actually insert this in, in their kids when they're asleep at night um, uh, for those who can actually handle a suppository. But it's very simple. Uh, think of my, my closed hand here as a rectum. And really what we're doing is we're taking the suppository. You're just giving it a quick push into the rectum. And that's it. The goal is actually to get the suppository just past the point where the rectum or the anus closes up. Once it's pushed into the rectum, uh, into your child's rectum, it starts to absorb almost immediately. Um, normally, it's going it's to absorb at the, at the rate of body heat. So you're probably talking anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes for this thing to completely absorb. It's going to have no effect on intestinal yeast. You're not going to have a yeast overgrowth problem. It's absorbed right from the rectum because it's a very vascular blood supply um, sufficient area, and it gets absorbed completely into the body. One of the other options we have is, is that suppositories just don't come in as EDTA. We can get things like DMSA and even DMPS in a suppository, and the, the same principle applies.